many things have happened in people's lives and one of the things they normally say when they come for counseling is and i saw this thing in my dream and i saw this thing in my dream and they are like hey, i cancelled it i don't know why the dream still happened well the dream may happen even if you cancelled it because you probably did not cancel it probably did not cancel it well or you don't, you don't even understand how to cancel uh, a dream so i will not waste much time i will just go into the mechanics and the mysteries of how to cancel uh, a dream so we need to watch this video to the very end and please if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to the channel like comment and share your own experiences so with that at the back of, uh, out of the way let's get this party started one of the things you should do immediately you have a bad dream a nightmare whatever it is you call it whatever it is it it, it can be called by uh, you can call it one of the things you do immediately you wake up is recall recall as vividly as possible that is also why sometimes when you sleep and you wake and then you go you work you go and ease yourself or something distracts you you brush your teeth and all the rest i didn't say don't be brushing your teeth by the time you come back and you are like what was the dream you are like hey, what's that dream oh i can remember the leg i don't know what happened to the head i saw something it didn't look like a human being you see immediately it begins to fade so one of the best things you can do is if you want to be effective in counseling your dream dreams is Immediately you get up, recall, sit down, calm yourself down. It doesn't matter how you felt. Calm down. And as you sit down, calm down, recall the dream. Try to play through your mind. What did I dream? What happened in the dream? Then test your feelings. Do you feel sad? Do you feel happy? That would determine whether the dream needs agreeing to and in all the dream needs counseling. We are doing the council of dreams now let me rule this complete rule this on out at this point i am not going to talk about fasting whether you should fast when you have a negative dream or not that is between you and god i'm just going to give you the principles and then you go walk with it as god gives uh, grace so when you sit down and you recall play it at the back of your mind again what happened once you are sure of what happens you now go into divine imagination go back into that imagination go back into that dream use your imagination to hold that dream those parts of the dream that you did not like change the outcome if something was pursuing you start to imagine that as that thing was pursuing you you stopped you turned around and you started pursuing the thing you cut the thing you changed the thing you whatever it is you should do to it in the dream something somebody snatched something from you play it back in your imagination that you turned around and you ran after that person you got the person you collected whatever it is he snatched from his hand and maybe i won't say thorough beating you do whatever you need to do right so that you make sure in that imagination you cause that dream to come to a good conclusive end after you have run that through your mind like that in the name of the lord then the next thing is to do to do is this now somebody may say but me i am not it's not everybody that is good with imagination i've come to realize that say i cannot uh, uh i'm not good at imagination okay remember the dream recall immediately you finish recall we go into prayer one of the prayers you can pray which i will recommend because this this thing was given to me spiritually so i'm giving it to you this wisdom free you see you should like this channel we give you wisdom as god gives grace not my wisdom but as he's given to me now one of the things you should do is a prayer that was given to me and the prayer is this i refuse to be a victim of all the witchcraft activities that took place in this dream i will not be a victim i will not be a prey of all the witchcraft activities that took place in this dream in the mighty name of jesus we have started prayer i refuse to be a victim i refuse to be a victim and i will not become the prey of all the witchcraft activities that took place in this dream maybe if you say family member my children my wife my husband shall not become a prey and neither will he become a victim of all the witchcraft activities that took place in this dream in the name of jesus I say I refuse to be the consequences of this dream, the evil report of this dream, the satanic result of this dream, what the devil is looking for in this dream. I will not be, in the name of Jesus, a prey or a victim of those things in the mighty name of Jesus. The impoverishment of this dream, the lack of this dream, the want that this dream is going to create, it shall not be my lot and my portion. I will not be a prey of the satanic intention of this dream. I will not be a victim of the demonic intention of this dream. I refuse to be a prey or a victim. I will not become a captive because of this dream. In Jesus' name glorified. Now, amen. 
that which I have done now, I have put together many things. So take this video, sit down, just write it or download it. And then you see the way I put it, I will not be a prey of this dream. I will not be impoverished by this dream. I will, you can even add, I will not suffer loss because of this dream. All the witchcraft activities of this dream, I will not become a prey and a victim of it. That's number one. The last one is now what I'm going to do next is we we'll take it from uh, Daniel chapter 4, verse 19. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 19, the scripture is very clear on this one. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar when they had a bad dream that let this dream be for my enemies and the, 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 the is all thereof be for they that hate me. So you are going to take that dream because you cannot leave it in your spiritual atmosphere environment. You are not going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, after the order of Daniel chapter 4, verse 19, I decree and I declare it that let this dream that I dream be for my enemies and the consequences thereof be for them that hate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, glorify. Let this dream be for my enemies and for they that hate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this dream be for my enemies and they that hate me in Jesus' name, glorified. Amen. You see, what does that dream mean? It's scripture I just read for you. Now, just read Daniel chapter 4, verse 19. If that one is not clear, back to sender. Every evil of this dream, I return it back to sender. That's how you should handle dreams. If it's a nightmare, it, it will not come to pass because you don't want that evil report in your life. My name is Pastor Ovi. I've given you wisdom. Now, like, comment, and share, and subscribe to this channel if you have not. I will definitely see you in the next video.